Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosys. In this video, we are going to see how to install this app on your Shopify store and complete the integration process. Starting with the installation, first, we will open Shopify App Store page and here in the search bar we will search Google Shopping Feed app. Now, we will add this to our demo store by clicking on Add App and we'll show you how to integrate it. Once you tap on Install App you will be asked to authenticate and link the app with your Merchant Center. Kindly use the credentials of the Merchant Center you would like to link the app with. Now, you are in the app. Once again, make sure you have connected the app with the right Google Merchant Center account as you will have to select the merchant ID. If you are linking the app with multi-client account, kindly select the parent account here in the first drop-down. Then app will show you the list of sub-accounts. From the second drop-down, kindly select the right sub-account. Also, on the side note, whenever you see this kind of icon in any section of the app, you should go through that help video before going to that section to avoid any probable error or mistake. Now, app is verifying the domain and the shipping settings you may have done in the Google Merchant Center. If you have not done the shipping settings in Google Merchant Center then please refer to this link and look to the steps for shipping. Once all your shipping settings are set up correctly, press Test Shipping Rates. The shipping settings you have done are verified by the app and then you will be able to proceed to the next step. In the sync settings from Shopify you will have to select the configurations you want for the product submission. Like here I am selecting all products, if one wants to submit the collection then he can use let me choose collection and select the collection created from the drop down. Other settings for title, description, variants and inventory, one can select based on your preferences. Note that, the default setting options must be used only when you can apply the same value to your entire catalog. You must go through this video first if you wish to set any value in the default settings section. Also, you can use the bulk edit feature of the app for assigning category, age group, gender and the identifier management option for the products. We have attached the link in the description. Now in Google Sync settings you will have to select the tax settings, if you are a business from European Union, United Kingdom, and Australia. If your store's product prices are including VAT or GST then, kindly select yes, my product prices are including VAT. And if your product prices don't include VAT or GST, and you charge the VAT or GST and the checkout is extra, then you will have to select, no, my product prices do not include VAT and you have to add the tax percentage here. Now based on your preferences you can enable or disable sale price and UTM tags, and select the ID format you want to submit for the products, and then save the settings. Moving to Bing Sync settings, if you want to submit your feed for Bing. You will have to log in with Bing, or else you can skip the step. Here we will log in to Bing for authenticating the app with Bing Merchant Center. Just make sure you are using right Bing Ads credentials to authenticate the app to work with. You will then have to select the Bing Merchant Center from the drop down and confirm your account. If you are a business from Germany and planning to submit the feed to Bing Merchant Center targeting Germany as a country of sale, you will have to check this checkbox I need feed for German Merchant Center. You can select the configurations for sale price, UTM tags and product ID format for the products in Bing Sync settings. Moving forward to Facebook, you will have to authenticate the app to work with your Facebook account through API by signing in. Once the details are entered you will be asked to enter the Facebook business account from the drop-down and then the catalog number. If you have not created a catalog then you will have to create it in your Facebook business manager. 
We have a different video on how to create a catalog in Facebook Business Manager. Link is given in the description. Here, we already have a catalog number for Facebook which we will place and will confirm the account. For the features to be enabled for submission in Facebook here we will enable both sale price and UTM tags and will proceed to, syncing the products. At last, you will have to press sync to sync products from Shopify to our app and submit it to Google Merchant Center. Once you sync the products in the app, you will have to wait for about 10 hours for the products to appear in Google Merchant Center, in some cases it may take up to 24 hours depending on the number of products. Bing may take up to 48 hours to show the products in the store summary graphs, and Facebook will take up to 3 hours to show the products in the Facebook catalog. If you have any other query or if this does not help, kindly write us at support at simprosis.com. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. See you again in another video.